Welcome back to Kelvin's Queen TV, everybody. My name is Ross, and today we're playing Summoner. We're in Wulong. We're looking for Rosalind, who's somewhere here. Um, a couple of NPCs we might also be able to find here, too. Pretty important to the plot. Um, so let's get started. Apparently, there are enemies here, because I can do this. Usually, when there aren't enemies, you can't draw your sword. Weapons of any kind. It's on the Lake of Sorrows. Oh, somebody over there. Let's go talk to them. Oolong. Where are you? Jimin. Fisherman's eyes are closed and tears streak his weathered face. I am Jimin the Blind. You are strangers to Wulong. This is not a joyful time. General Pajian and his soldiers occupy the village. At dawn, we woke to the ringing of the tower bell. General's soldier, soldiers marched in the streets. It came without warning. Our sentries were dead. Sentries were dead? We were betrayed. A villager killed our sentries. That is why we had no time to run or fight. The general made us gather in the square. What happened in the square? General Pajian divided the people of Wulong. Those who would die. Those who would be slaves. And those who would be spared. Spared, huh? Pajian allowed the sculptors to stay. They labor in the workshop carving statues of Murad. Others serve the general and his soldiers. Do not know why he spared me. Those who would die? Those who fought for Aoki in the Jade Temple were executed in the square. This is why the village smells of blood. Those who would be slaves. Pajian branded them with the usurper's mark. They marched to the Tower of Ila. They will work as slaves until death comes to free them. Tell me about Aoki. Yoki leads the Society of the Jade Temple. They are fighting against Murad. Wulong is her home. Tell me about the usurper. Murad, the man who calls himself Emperor. Long ago, he was leader of the Jade Temple and served the Gaiodi II. Murad betrayed the Emperor and stole his throne. What happened to the Jade Temple? The priests of the Jade Temple prophesied that the one hand would end his reign. For this, the Emperor killed them. Those who escaped hid in the wilderness. Now they lead the rebellion. Who is the one hand? You, you idiot. A great warrior, the one hand will defeat Murad and bring peace to Irenia. The sparrows say he escaped from Ila and will come here to Wulong. I have a message for him. Do you now? A Medivan woman waits for him in the forest west of the village. Her name is Rosalind. She has found a gatherer who will heal him. Who are the gatherers? They are keepers of lore. They guard the secrets of flowers. They can speak to the trees and to the plants of this valley. Where is Aoki now? Six days ago, a messenger came to Wulong. That might be Ao Chi, actually. Ao Chi. Six days ago, a messenger came to Wulong. Imperial soldiers have attacked the stronghold of Shanggao, he said. My lord beseeches you to come to our aid. Ao Chi departed with many of her soldiers. I pray she will return to free her village. All right, now, who killed the sentries? A rice merchant named Minhe cut their throats. He is a traitor. Thanks. All right, so Rosalind is in the forest west of the town. Uh, this person's gonna die. Pick up the gold. Thank you. Skirting the shore. Who else is out here? All right, I think, uh, yeah, that way is west. So that's where Rosalind is. Let's kill everyone in the town first. All the Iranians, I mean. All, not the Iranians. All the soldiers, I mean. You know what, Maybe we can get Rosalind for that. Let's go get Rosalind. Let's let's share some XP. She could level up, too. She could use some leveling up. Let's go straight for Rosalind. Then we'll come back and we'll crack some skulls. She is. Rosalind! Good to see you again. Good to see you. Rosalind, 
So the one hand has escaped his tomb. It's good to see you again, Joseph. Sizzy here is a gatherer and he will help us. Tell me about the gatherers. Gatherers are healers and they can speak to the plants that grow in this valley. General Pajian's soldiers have been searching for them. Why is Pajian searching for the gatherers? They have the power to heal you and this is why Pajian attacked Wulong. Gatherers are hiding where they cannot be found. How can Sizia help us? Sizia will explain, but before you talk to him, there's something important I need to tell you. Oh yeah? There are eight rings of summoning, Joseph. Not four. Eight rings? You remember how the Kosani called you Sahugani? That means people of the eight rings. Yes, when we visited Sanavar, I wonder why the Kosani called you Sahugani instead of Sahudoni, which means people of the four rings. Why didn't you say anything? I'm sorry I didn't tell you, Joseph. At the time, I despised you for what Yago had done to my mother. I hated you because Laurent made me join your quest. Besides, all I had was a suspicion, nothing more. Do the Kosani know? Kosani made the rings, but Ruka vanished uh, in Orenia before he finished his quest. Even the Kosani might not know, but the dragon rings still exist. All right. So there are demon rings and there are dragon rings. Ruka? Ruka vanquished the four demons and this ended the chaos of 10,000 years. Then Ruka disappeared. No one knows what happened to him with the four dragons. Four dragons? The lore of the summoners was forgotten ages ago. Only my father knew much about it. With the abbot's help, I found the books my father studied. That's what I learned about the four dragons. Your father? Makaval, the demon of darkness, possessed my father. Makaval wanted to free the demons but leave the dragons trapped in the rings. This is why Yago never told you about the dragons. Why leave the dragons trapped? Because the dragons and demons are eternal enemies. During the chaos of 10,000 years, their war nearly destroyed the world. Who are the four dragons? There's the dragon of water, dragon of the four winds, dragon of the forest, and the dragon of jade. The ring of water is here in Wulong. I didn't know the ring of water is here. Sizia has seen it. A ghost named Nagaru guards the ring in the caverns of Wulong. There's also a fisherman who once saw the dragon with his own eyes. The fisherman, his name is Jimin. I met him at the docks. Tell me find the gathers. Talk to him. We'll tell you a story. Join us. Let's go. Sizia will explain the healing ritual to you, and let's ask Jimin to, to tell us about the dragon. Rosalind's back. We already met Jimin. I am Shiza, the Gatherer. Your friend and I have kept vigil for you, one hand. Kept vigil? Jian's soldiers chased us into the wilderness, but the Gatherers know every stone and tree in this valley. The people of Wulong were not so fortunate. Many were put to the sword. All for your sake, one hand. The Emperor knew you would come. You must make yourself worthy of their sacrifice. You must avenge the slain. Died for my sake? You are the one hand. You're the child of prophecy. You are the summoner born. Your destiny and the destiny of Orenia are one. How can I fulfill the prophecy? To restore your hand, we must perform a ritual. You will need four things. An onyx carp, a stick of charcoal, a widow's knife, and a traitor's rice bowl. Why the hell do I need these things? I ask you for the carp because its blood will cleanse you. I ask for the charcoal to write the runes of healing. Ask for the widow's knife because hers is the blade of vengeance. I ask for the traitor's bull so that good might come from an evil man. All right, tell me about the ring you saw. Caverns are haunted by ghosts. There I met the spirit of Vingaru by the drowned city. He had the ring that destroyed his home. You will need to go there to complete your healing. But for now, stay away from the caverns. Stay away? Why? Vegean soldiers guard the only path. I can help you get past them, but now is not the time. Tell me about the gatherers. In this valley, life is abundant, mysterious, and powerful. All things thrive with the, with the secret of creation. Gatherers are keepers of the secret. Great. Nice and informative. We know all about the gatherers now. Alrighty. Let's go kick some ass. Come on, Rosalind. Beat up some soldiers. Hiya. Is 
these guys are tough, man. want some? Who are you? <clears throat> Achu, the man wears the robes of an imperial functionary. Cross checks a list of names from his assistant. With his assistant. How could they have left such abysmal records? We'll never finish a report at this rate and the general will send us to Ela if we fail. Who are you? My name is Fachu. I am a clerk in the imperial civil service. The bureaucracy of the empire is vast and powerful. How powerful is it? bureaucracy controls everything within the emperor's domain taxation trade judicial proceedings and the administration of the prefectures and provinces of Arenia. bureaucrats control everything the emperor completes that ghastly tower and storms the walls of heaven left to keep records for all things in creation catalog every bird and fish in the cosmos ghastly tower a bureaucrats nightmare all the resources of Arenia are wasted on that monstrosity all because the emperor is the itch to conquer heaven Stone, tools, provisions, workers, everything needs to be hauled in. A thousand years it will take to build it. Madness. As if suddenly aware of his indiscretion, Fachu looks around to make sure none of the soldiers heard him. Ah, but the Emperor is the Emperor, he has in a hushed voice. Neither logic nor exams are required of him. Exams? Among bureaucrats, the status of your birth matters not. A beggar's son could become a prefect. He goes to university and studies hard. Philosophy, law, and the classics we master. Please, enough of this. You must leave Wulong at once. I'll pretend I never saw you. Last thing we need is more complications. I'll never finish a report as is. More complications? And yet Joseph sticks around. Dude, he's telling you to leave. First, the gatherer has escaped. Now Medivin women hide somewhere in the forest. There's no way to run an empire. <laughs> we have a Medivin woman hiding in the forest. This country's going to shit. This is no way to run an empire, and if you go around causing more trouble, you only make my life more difficult. That of a moment, she's standing next to you. Jeez. Tell me about the demons. No, nothing about that. As long as Murad keeps them out of Irania, we'll have we'll have order in the empire. Bad as things might be here, they're much worse in Medeva. Dismal records. The, the society of the Jade Temple keeps terrible records. Not a bureaucrat among them. Yes, report. General Pigeon insists that we send a full report to the Emperor by morning. It demands the impossible. Why is it impossible? We must account for all goods seized, all goods destroyed, all casualties and executions. We must list the names of those still at large and those who have been sent to Ela. Please leave Wulong before they see you. Nabi. We're here to kill everyone. Except you, of course. We're not going to kill you. Your soldier back here? Who are you? Songli. My name is Songli. I'm a stone carver. Stone carver? People of Wulong mine limestone, jade, and marble in this valley. Stone is soft and easy to carve if you know the craft. What are you doing? I escaped the workhouse. Pajian has ordered us to carve statues from Murad's tower. He works us like slaves. If they find a way to move the stone to Ila, we will be forced to go there with the others. How'd you learn the craft? Secrets have been passed down through my family. Our people have carved stone as long as the dragon has lived in the Lake of Sorrows. Tell me about the dragon. One night I had a dream. In this dream, the dragon said that we would be found by one who has been lost. When I awoke, I worked for seven days and nights to carve the dragon I saw in my dream. Carve the dragon? All were amazed. You mean the blind fisherman he has seen the dragon. When he touched my sculpture with his hands, he began to weep. In dreams, gods reveal the nature of things to mortal men. Dude got some serious shrooms. <laughs> yeah, Everyone in this town is just sad or I A F. Alright, let's talk to this guy again who we already met. Jimin, what's up? Jiminy Cricket. Yeah, we know who you were. Tell me about the dragon. 
I've seen them. Eight summers ago, I fished in Banyan Cove, and storms swept in from the east. Waves tossed my boat, and I fell overboard. I tried to swim to shore, but the land was too far, and my arms and legs felt like stone. But from the depths, the dragon came. He carried me ashore. I have given you new life, said the dragon. You must give me something in return. What would you give the dragon? I said to him, you are the most beautiful creature in all creation. I am not worthy to look upon you, so I'll give you my eyes. I returned to Wulong and the caverns. I sacrificed my eyes to the dragon of the lake. In the caverns, there is a place we call the dragon's mouth. An abyss where the people of Wulong made sacrifices to the dragon of the lake. Why do they make sacrifices? Because the dragon mourns the death of Urath. For a thousand years he wept. This is how the Lake of Sorrows came to be. The dragon weeps too much, the village will flood. So the people of Wulong learned to make him happy. Long ago we made sacrifices, now in the rainy season we hold a festival so we will not be sad. Where are the caverns? On the far side of Wulong, sixteen platforms rise up to the mouth of the caverns. Fijians soldiers guard that path. Tell me about fishing. In Wulong, we fish with birds, not lines or nets. The birds are called cormorants. They have been our friends for generations. Tell me about the onyx carp. A rare and elusive fish, but I have a bird who is clever enough. She'll catch the onyx carp if you bring her a treat. And yeah, what kind of treat? My bird likes fruit. A mangosteen or persimmon. Do you have any? I have no fruit. Bring fruit, my bird will help you. Yeah. If this, then that. Constantly, over and forever. Over again and to infinity. Any other jabrones out here? Ooh, what's up here? This must be the way to the caverns. Yeah, maybe. I'm just getting distracted now. So we blind so the dragon wouldn't kill him, and I'd rather die than be blind. Who are you, man? Who are you, man? Anji, the young man stands before you trembling. You frightened me, he exclaims. I thought you were soldiers. What are you doing here? Yesterday I came to paint, waiting for the sun to rise, when General Pajian and the soldiers marched by. Huddled behind a rock until it was clear, and then I ran for my life. I'm a miserable coward. All my belongings are left in the village. Paints, brushes, poems, and ink. I tried to sneak back, but soldiers are everywhere. I was a soldier before I was a painter. When I turned of age, I joined the Imperial Army. How proud I was of my sword and armor till I fought my first battle. Your first battle? Unspeakable horrors. A massacre on the field, and my friends died headless and disemboweled. I ran. I ran into the forest. I ran until I came here. I have only one desire now. What's your one desire? To make people happy. My art is about beauty and joy, even in the midst of all this suffering. My poems are sung during the festival. I hope the dragon forget his sorrow. Tell me about the festival. The rainy season makes the dragon sad. He remembers then that the death of Urath. If he weeps too much, Wulong will flood. So the festivals keep the dragon happy. Who are you? My name is Anji. I'm a painter and poet. Our painter. We established this already, but many come to this village for inspiration. There's no place more beautiful than all Arenia. For here is the home of the Dragon of the Lake. Dragon of the Lake. So much repetition. This game really doesn't want you to miss important details. I've seen it with my own eyes. One morning, I spied in the faint light of dawn a shadowy form break the surface of the water. I swear it was the dragon, but no one believes me. Any stick of charcoal. Among my paints and brushes, I have some sticks of charcoal, but I lost my box when I ran away from the soldiers. If you find it, please bring it to me. I'll give you all the charcoal you need. Where are you going? I need you to stay here so I can find you again. I'm serious about that charcoal, man. Who are you? Kriye. I'm Kriye, soldier of the Jade Temple. I know who you are. Spelled differently both times. Kriye? <laughs> who am I then? You are the one hand and you shall free Arrhenian fulfillment of the prophecy. All our hopes rest on you. Heal yourself. 
seek out the gatherers. CJ waits, you, waits for you in the forest near the visit village. Tell me about the gatherers. Tears of the dragon give life to all that grow in this valley. Strange and powerful are these plants. Gatherers speak their language. What can you tell me about Eo Chi? Eo Chi was victorious at the stronghold of the Lord Shengao. Armies of the Jade Temple are now a few hours' march from Mulong. We will attack at dawn. What are you doing here? I'm a scout. Jin and the soldiers occupy Upper Wulong. Do not fight them until the Aochi returns. Even so, the odds will not be in our favor. Why not? The soldiers are tired. They have fought hard. They have marched a long way without rest. The Jin soldiers are greater in number and in strength. How can we help? We need the ritual of healing. We need your gifts if we are to defeat Pajian and Murad. You are Reni's only hope. Since the day you were captured, our people began to despair. The rebellion suffered many losses. If we fail here, the society of the Jade Temple will be crushed. No pressure, though. I'm going to continue skirting the outside for just a little bit. Yep. So there's the edge of town to our right. There's a building over there. I know not how to reach. Oh, here we go. What's up, bud? Ooh. Uh, now you walk over. Enter the square. What do we got here? Wakasaji. Who else can we kill? No one over here. No one in the middle. That's it. It's in the square. Alright, there's somebody. Looks like there's an NPC to talk to over here. Let's see what their deal is. Are you a widow by any chance? <laughs> Why are widows always hunched over? She is a widow. What a stereotype. Widows have to be these old crones. Shameful! Shameful. Well, here is Gulan the Mourner. I've wept more than the Dragon of Sorrows. I am too tired to weep anymore. There are no tears left in this widow. Who are you? My name is Gulan. I mourn the death of my sister. Soldiers killed her and took my daughter to Yila. Took your daughter? My daughter is strong. She will endure. Murad will never break her spirit. But others are weaker and I fear they will not survive. Why did they kill your sister? Because she was a soldier of the Jade Temple. The merchant Paisie. 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 I'm sorry, I can't. I can't with some of these names, man. I'm just not cultured enough. Because she was a soldier of the Jade Temple, the merchant Paisie denounced her in the square. She died with the others who fought against Murad. Jade Temple? I've never heard of it. Their leader is named Eo Chi. She will save the stronghold of Shengao. She will return to save us. Stronghold of Shengao? And if the strength of the Shengao ugh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Stronghold of Shengao? If the stronghold falls, the Lake of Sorrows will soon be lost. After the defeat of the one hand, people have begun to lose hope. Who is the one hand? Who is the one hand? How has you never heard of him? Gulan gives you a quizzical look suddenly. Her eyes grow wide. Y you you are the one hand, she gasps. You must find the gatherers at once. CJ waits for you in the forest. You must hurry. Tell me about him. CJ and I were friends long ago. As a boy, he went exploring in the caverns. Something terrible happened down there. He would never tell me. When I came back, he was changed. The one you knew as CJ is dead, he once told me, and I wept. Tell me about the gatherers. 
where their gifts will make you fall in love or kill your enemies without a trace. Villagers of Wulong shun them, and so the gathers live in the wilderness. Who is Pei Ji? A fruit merchant and a trader. The general gathered the people in the square, and Pei Ji named those who were soldiers of the Jade Temple. When Ao Chi returns, the traitors will die. Traitors? Pei Ji and Min He. Min He killed the sentry as he watched over us as we slept. This is how General Pajian took Wulong without a fight. We woke to find the Emperor's soldiers in her streets. Jim would have killed me too if he knew how dangerous I was. My husband was a hunter. We lived on the wild game of the valley. Two autumns ago, he died fighting a boar, and I took up the spear to feed my daughter. Now I think only of revenge. May I have your knife? This, is to be, this was to be the blade of my vengeance, but I give it to you. I lost everything in this world, a knife will make not a difference. <laughs> Let me try that again. Can I have your knife? This was to be the blade of my vengeance, but I give it to you. I lost everything in this world. A knife will not make a difference. Well, that was a fruitful conversation. Speaking of fruit, let's go find this merchant. Uh, we haven't gone this way yet. Haven't gone many ways yet, I'm aware. Any soldiers around? Any dumbass soldiers lurking about? Aha! Kill, 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 kill. Whoops. Paralyzed. Oh, you hate to see it. Got him. Let's go this way first. Hey, who are you? Anyone important? Ooh, you are important. Pays ye. May the gods have mercy on this fruit merchant. In all creation, there's no one more wretched than I. If only I'd never been born. If only a tiger had eaten my mother. If only my father had drowned at sea. What happened? General Pajian seized Wulong and gathered the villagers in the square. The general said he knew me to be a loyal subject of the Emperor. If I would help him, he would reward me. How'd you help him? I named the villagers who had fought for the Jade Temple. I denounced those who had taken the arms against the Emperor. In Wulong, many had joined Aochi's rebellion. What happened next? Breaks down and sobs. All that blood! All that blood on my hands! If only the prophecy of the one hand would come true. What's your name? I used to be known as Pei Ji, and I was a merchant of great renown and on the Lake of Sorrows. Merchant of Great Renown. May my well shipping fruit that grows along the Lake of Sorrows. Mangosteens and oranges, dates and po uh, pomelos, persimmon and ginkgo. The tears of the dragon nourish them with magic. I need some fruit. Please take this mangosteen. Free of charge. The silver means nothing to me anymore. You know who he is. Do you have a rice bowl? No, I cannot help you. Okay. We gotta find the other dude for the rice bowl. We need the rice bowl, we need the art supplies. And then we can go to the caverns. Heal our hand. Get that fruit. Oh, well, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. We never finished clearing this part. So let's do it! Who wants to die tonight? Who wants to die tonight? Whoa, there's a lot of people here. Oh boy. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Oh, they're coming for us. Hope that kills the other dude who didn't see us on the bridge. Miss me. Oh crap, there he is. Well, this is a problem.
What? Nice job keeping him safe, Rosalind. Idiot. This is going really poorly. Shit. I can't see anything. Backstab him. Oh, he died. Okay, great. <laughs> Gotta backstab a dead body. Alright, uh, revive scroll. Oh no, he's alive. Shit. Oh man, why wouldn't they let me backstab him? I'm managing this very poorly. I am a clever one. At least you're the only you're the only helpful one in this entire group. <laughs> Um, geez. Uh, add one to pick lock. We're gonna do one to appraise. One to trip. Because we need that going. Identify! Hey! Identified it. Nodashi. Ooh, the effect is an ice coffin. That's pretty awesome. Damage 70? I mean, I think Jakar is gonna have to use that. Ice Coffin's a really helpful spell. Alright. Dude on the bridge. Ooh. He's a talkative one. Heidi. Drunken soldier sits on the bridge singing a folk song. He tosses a bottle of rice wine into the water. Great old man on me on celebrating heroic victory of the people who love. Heroic victory. We put brave soldiers put brave soldiers to the sword. Ran to the innocent the work and die as slaves. It's not heroic. My heart sings with pride that I've bloodied my sword this day. Heart sings with pride. Not so full of pride, I'll drown myself in this pond. Another bottle of wine will do. Another bottle of wine. I drink for courage. The man who raises his sword against the ends of the coward. You only ever join the army. Never joined the army. The family had a cottage. Plowed and knox. Dreaming of adventure. Yes. Lady innocent dreams. Innocent dreams? Whose land holds the sword of mine? Not the emperor's, not the general's. When the world is made whole again, the justice returns to Irania. I'll be made to answer for my crimes. Answer for your crimes. Yes, unless I drown myself first. What is your advice, stranger? 
Live and redeem yourself. Redeem myself? How? Aochi will return. Ah, now I understand. Fight for the Jade Temple, you mean? We'll think on your advice. Thank you, friend. You're welcome, sir. Haven't even seen it. any shred of evidence of this uh, set of uh, artisan supplies, art supplies rather. Do not recall where they are. They should be in town somewhere. Uh, Joseph, almost there to get a level. Almost there. All right, I think that way is the caverns. Up that, up these stairs. Oh wow, that's really heavily guarded. You can. Just about to say we can probably take him, but probably can't. Who's this guy? Never talked to you. Min here. Got my revenge on the Jade Temple, and soon Aochi and her bandits will be dead. Peace will come at last to the Lake of Sorrows. How'd you get your revenge? I'm the one who told Pidgeon where the sentries were. I'm the one who cut their throats at dawn with this very knife. All Pagey had to do was name the rebels. Uh, we don't need to know about Pagey. Do you have a rice bowl? A rice bowl? Here, you can have the bowl. But I'll not give you any rice. Not a grain. Beggar like those Jade Temple ruffians. That's what you are. Tell me about AOG. People say she fights the tyranny of Murad. Bah! The only tyrants in Wulong are the outlaws who terrorize our village. Murderers and renegades, the whole lot of them. Outlaws? The Society of the Jade Temple murdered my own flesh and blood, they did. Murder? Yes, and for what? Refusing them food. Refusing them shelter. Armed ruffians came to your door. Would you open your home to them? Yeah, dude, I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Other than no, probably not. You're a psychopath. Hey, do you know where these, uh, art supplies are? Little jerk. Oh, what's this? What's all this, then? Success! Anji's box. Alright, let's go give it to Anji. Get the charcoal. Come on back to here. Need a stick of charcoal. Among my paints and brushes, I have some sticks of charcoal, but I lost my box. Blah, blah, blah. Give him the box. Splendid, you found my box. My paints, brushes, and ink are inside. I promised you a stick of charcoal, didn't I? This is for you. Thank you, friend. All right, let's go back to uh, the healer and get healed. All right, dude, we got all your stupid things. Uh, tell me about the ring. No, tell me what? What? No, I cooked on the wrong thing. No, no, uh... Blah, blah, blah. Doo, doo, doo. How can I fulfill the prophecy? Restore your hand, need these things. Why do I need these things? Oh, I'm missing the onyx carp. I have the fruit, but not the cart. We're gonna give the fruit to the fisherman. Oy vey. Hey, bud. We know who you are. Oh, just give him the fruit. Tell me about fishing. Tell me about the honest carp. What kind of treat? Have fruit. I thank you, stranger, and here's the honest carp. Goodbye. All right, now let's go talk to the guy and get him. Put on your running shoes, everybody. I brought the things you asked for. Sijin nods approvingly and accepts the items. With Gulan's knife, he guts the onyx carp. He drops the organs of the fish into the into Minnie's rice bowl. From his pouch, he pulls herbs, roots, fungi, and powders. He mixes the ingredients together with his hands and he sings a song in words you do not understand. 
Give me your arm, the one with the wound. Cizia picks up the charcoal and inscribes a series of runes. These are words of healing, he explains. They are powerful. Gather smears your arm with the blood from the bowl, then binds the wound with a long white cloth. Finally, Cizia offers you the bowl. You must drink this. Drink it. The warm liquid oozes down your throat. Fight the urge to spit it back out. Through force of will, you drink the contents of the bowl. You have but two things left to do, one hand, and you shall be healed. Two things, come on. You must enter the caverns of Wulong and eat the plant we call the tail of the Roku. Tail of the Roku, please gasp. Aochi killed Tankard with that poison. Sijie nods. Many enemies of the Jade Temple have met a similar fate. There is no cure. So how is this supposed to help Joseph? asked Rosalind. For those who undergo the ritual I have just performed, Sijie explains. The tail of the Roku has the power to heal. You said I had to do two things. After you've eaten the tail of the Rokul, you must find the Pool of Wonders. Pool of Wonders. A magical spring near the edge of a deep lake. You must go far underground to the very bottom of the caverns. And what do I do there? Cleanse your wound in the waters of healing. You will be made whole again. What about Pajian soldiers? Leave that to me, Fleece replies. Got into the palace in the Tower of Elag. Sneak past Pajian and his men. What are you going to do? Carry us on your back? Rosalind retorts. Stick us in your bell pouch? We can't fight an army. Cizia shakes his head. Please, I will show you how. In the folds of his robe, he draws a crystal vial dangling from a leather cord. A luminous blue liquid shines within. What's in the vial? The tears of Usaban. Very rare, for it is made from a flower that blooms but once every hundred years. Tears will make you invisible. Invisible? There is enough for three of you, but be warned, the power of the tears lasts only a short time. Once you drink the vial, you must hurry. I wish you luck, one hand. Farewell. Holy shit! They're coming for us! Guys! Guys! Fight! Rosalind, turn around! We're supposed to be invisible! <laughs> wow, that didn't work out at all. Oh, I can hit X to pick things up? I might be stuck there. Need to get Joseph's AP back as well. Alright, got him. Ah, oh, we're supposed to be invisible for that. Oh well. Either we're going to actually do it the right way and be invisible, or we're just going to take it by brute force. We'll see. Catch you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching Kelvin's Coin TV. My name is Ross. This has been Summoner. See you then. Bye.